I'm Yolanda Beasley, the girls' athletic coordinator for CISD, and we, myself, along with David Ritchie, the boys' athletic coordinator for Castleberry Independent School District or High School. High School. We are going to basically give you the steps and procedures to get into athletics for the high school. The first thing we're going to talk about is some of the different sports that you may not have had offered at the middle school. You have your normal sports for guys. You'll have your football, your basketball, and your track. And for girls, you'll have... For girls, you'll have volleyball, basketball, and track. And you also, for both boys and girls, will have cross country. True. Which was new at the middle school. Yes, it was. Year. Yes. But then there's some additions. Uh, for both boys and girls, you'll have soccer. And then for boys, you'll also have baseball. And for boys and girls, you'll have tennis. And, and yes, then, and you also have softball for the girls at the high school as well. And so you have a lot more selections and a lot more choices. And one of the biggest questions we're asked is how do you get involved in all this stuff? And those of you that participated in the middle school, you do have a bit of a head start. Uh, but if you did not participate in middle school, you still have an opportunity to try out at the high school level as well. What we recommend, since you're a little bit behind, is attending summer camps. Each sport offers a camp um, during the summer, sometimes at the end of the spring semester, but also into the summer months as well to, to help you out with your skills. So as the spring semester starts to wind down, we'll, you make sure you pay attention, check the website. We, we also put out pamphlets, but we'll also be here personally visiting with middle school kids and younger about the different dates when the football camp is and the volleyball camp is and the basketball camps. And then there's also strength and conditioning, which goes for the majority of the summer. Yes, it does. Six uh, weeks out of the summer. Which is just an every day, Monday through Thursday? Monday through Thursday. Workout where it's not sport related at all, but it's designed to just help you get stronger and quicker. And it's a good way to, to gauge whether or not you're interested in athletics at all. Because it's basically what we do throughout the year, put into six weeks program to help you get acclimated to the workout process. So as the spring semester continues, look, be, be on the lookout for announcements of stuff you might be interested in, but never, never also think you can't ask questions. Coach Beasley's down here at the middle school a lot. I'm down here at the middle school a lot, but Coach Park, Coach Black are here as well. If you got questions, just find one of us and quiz us about what's about to happen and what all's going on. Before you're able to try out for any sport, and that's middle school as well as high school, you will need to have a physical as well as some online paperwork filled out beforehand. Uh, the rank one paperwork can be found, the link for that can be found on the district website under student and just scroll down to athletics and activities and you'll find that rank one uh, link there for you. We have an athletic trainer in our district who goes by the name of Coach Lee or Miss Lee. I call her Coach Lee. What do y'all call her? I call her Coach Lee you also. Call her Coach Lee. Uh, she also, much like us, can answer the questions that you have. Well, we have the Lion Roundup that comes in the later spring. Later spring, uh-huh. And that's a spot that you can uh, learn a whole lot and get a lot of the paperwork done. And then uh, we also will offer the opportunity to go ahead and get your physical done right. uh, for a much cheaper price than going to the doctor. And, uh, and it's also pretty convenient because it's up here done at the school. And all the coaches will be there, and not only it can also double as, as a shot to introduce yourself and meet some coaches at the high school that you might not be familiar with at this point. Right. I think that pretty much wraps it up. Like I said, if there's any questions you may have after this, please find one of us or get in touch with Coach Park at the middle school or Coach Black at the middle school, and we'll be happy to help you out and answer any questions you may have. And if you do have questions, I know one question that if I was coming up from the middle school to the high school, well, that's a lot of cool stuff. How do I get to participate in it all? Can I play soccer and can I play football? And can I run cross country and play basketball and play tennis? And I believe our answer would, would both be absolutely. Definitely. We'll help you as coaches participate in as much as you want, but there's also the flip side of the time management on your part that right you're going to have to make sure that you hold up at your end of the bargain. But we want our students to be involved in as many things and activities as they possibly want to. We have band athletes. We have choir athletes. We have cheerleader athletes. So a lot of our athletes and students, rather, compete and participate in multiple activities there at school. We have individuals that are involved in theater arts that are also involved in sport. Um, like the coach said, that your time management will definitely come into play um, and you being able to handle both schedules as well as the coaches and the sponsors, we work well together 
to try and make sure that you're able to do as much as you possibly can. And as we're getting closer to next year, Coach Beeson, I would also just want to stress to you that when you come over here to the high school, uh, your grades, your behavior in your classrooms, your behavior in your hallways, your respect for your teachers, your respect for your peers, comes just as much into play as anything else. We expect our athletes, and, and just like band expects the people in the band and the choir and the choir, we expect us to be the leaders of Castleberry High School and set the example for all the other students. That's right. Uh, the title is Student Athlete, uh, not just athlete and not just student. You carry, actually, you're seen more than anyone else out there in the student body. So we expect you to represent as such. Uh, you're not only representing yourself, but you're representing your family as well as the student body here in Castleberry ISD. We'd love to have you all involved. And as we've said throughout this, find us and ask us questions because we're excited about Castleberry Athletics and we want you to be excited about it as well. We look forward to meeting you. Thank you. Thank you.